What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called App Button. Now this is a really cool tweak. What it's going to do is basically give you another option to quickly switch between applications, and it does it in a really cool way. So you can see right here that we actually have a nice little translucent button, and you can see if I just tap, start to swipe down on it, that we have our applications right here. And you can see that once it starts to highlight that application, if we let go, it's actually going to go directly to that app. So this is actually uh, the creator or the developer of this tweak. And you can see right here, if we go ahead and swipe down, that we have all of our applications. If we go all the way to the right, you can see that it starts to scroll through all the open applications that we have. So then we just let go on one and it's going to open that up. So let's just go ahead and open up the clock and you can see we can go back to the settings and it's very simple very quick now you'll notice that if we go into our app button settings that we have three panels first is our favorites apps so you can see that we have one favorite right here so basically it loads all of your applications and then you can add your favorites right here so let's say that we wanted to add uh, in addition to alien blue let's say we wanted to add uh, let's just say the calculator and maybe the app store all right, so now how do we actually access our favorite apps? Well, first of all, you can tap and hold on this button and then drag it. So you can move this wherever you'd like. So let's just say we're just going to put it right here near the middle of the screen. Now to access your favorite apps, all you have to do is swipe up. And then here are all your favorite apps. So we can go directly to Reddit, we can go into our calculator, or directly into the App Store. Again, you can add as many as you want. And if we let go right here, it's not going to open up anything. You'll notice that little arrow up at the top, that means it's not gonna open anything. So let's just open up uh, the calculator real quick. And then if we want to, we wanna go back to the settings, which is our last use app, just tap on the button and it's gonna go directly back to settings. So this is a really cool tweak and I highly recommend checking this out. So you can see right here, let's go ahead and move this out of the way and then tap on look and feel. So here's where you're gonna change basically how it looks. So you have the black button, if we toggle that off, you can see that it goes to a white button. We can also change the color of the tray right here from black to white. You can see how that looks right there. And you also have the transparency applied to a resting app button. So right here, if we have it resting, you can see the transparency and we can change that up right there. Again, we have also the transparency applied to an active app button. So that means when we start to drag. So you can see that there is no transparency, it's completely opaque. But then if we slide this down, you can see that there's some transparency to it. So you can switch that up as you'd like. You can also enable the border or disable it. You can enable blur or disable it, as well as highlight the chosen app. So I really like the highlight chosen app option just because you can tell which application is actually going to open up uh, very easily. So now let's jump back here and you also have behavior. So this is basically how you're going to set it up with activator. So you can swap the controls so you can see right here what it does. It basically explains it right here. So when enabled, the tray is opened after a tap and hold. When disabled, the tray is open by swiping it. And you also have some activation methods. You can use toggle mode, which will allow you to hide the button and then use an activation method to make it come up. That way it's not always on your springboard like it is right now. And you can also see these other activation methods. If we just tap on this, then you can set something to the app button single tap as well as right here, if we tap on this, you can do the app button double tap and set an action for that using activator. And then of course, right down here, we have dock to screen edge. So this forces the app button to snap to the screen's edges. So if we tap on that, you can see, actually let's go back here to the settings. If we tap and hold and then we let go, you can see that now it's going to be right there on the side of the screen. So it snaps to that right there. So it just kind of depends on how you want to use this. You can also use scroll enabled. So that's like what I was saying. When you can't see all the applications, it's going to start to scroll just like that. Uh, let's go back. And then right down here, you also have a kill apps gesture, which basically you just hold it at the very end and it's going to kill all the applications running in the background. And you also have a white list just in case there's some apps that you don't want to kill when you use the kill apps gestures. And of course you have a little toggle down here called sausage fingers, which sets the launch icon to the one before your finger, just in case you're having trouble uh, actually getting on the application that you want. So this is a really cool app. I highly recommend checking it out or tweak for that matter. It's called App Button, but it's a tweak. And I definitely recommend checking it out if you think it's something that you might enjoy. So let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And of course, if you like this video, please hit that like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, you can go ahead and subscribe. 
All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.